Welcome to this video in which we will learn how we can control these three lights with three different push switches. So let's begin. These are the materials we would require. This is a breadboard, a battery with the cap. We would require three different LEDs and the jumping wires, three push buttons and if you have a coin cell and three resistors of 220 ohm you can use any other resistor as well but i am using 220 ohm resistor so this is a breadboard now let me explain you this is the positive rail this is the negative rail and also we have positive and negative rails here the breadboard is connected like this these pins are inter interconnected with each other and like this breadboard is internally connected like this and this is a partition in the breadboard so now let's connect this push button on the breadboard see carefully how i am inserting the pins of push button into the breadboard this is the other side i'm pressing with my thumb all of the four pins of the push button is inserted in the breadboard. You have to make the pins of the push button straight and press into the breadboard. And this is the cutter. We would require a black wire and a red wire. These two wires and now we are going to connect in half with the cutter. So these two wires, these are male to male wires and now we are going to cut these two wires with this cutter in half. See very carefully how I'm cutting this. And now we have to cut these cap wires, the red wire and the black wire. I'm just removing the insulation from the wire. Like this, the black one. And now we are going to connect the black one with the black and red with the red definitely just roll over these wires like this and now we would require a tape you can use any tape I'm using this tape and similarly we will connect the red wire with the red the purpose of attaching these wires is that we can very easily use the DC battery with the breadboard so now we have connected these pins like this the red one with the red and black with the black and now we will connect this cap with the DC battery connect the bigger terminal with the smaller and smaller with the bigger like this and push this cap on the DC battery like this so now the DC battery is ready and now let's connect the red wire with the positive rail and black wire with the negative rail just connect it like this now let me explain you this this is positive rail okay this is positive rail and the lower one is negative rail on which red wire uh, on which black wire is connected so red wire is connected with the positive rail and black wire is connected with the negative rail and now we will use these three leds and if you have a coin cell coin cell battery you can check if your leds are working or not
but if you do not have any coin cell then don't worry it's optional so now so one of these holes right in front of this pin we are connect the bigger leg of the LED so this is the bigger leg of the LED and we are going to connect here like this okay make sure that you are connected it properly here one of these holes and this is a resistor 220 ohm resistor I am going to connect one leg of the resistor with the smaller leg of the LED this is smaller leg of the LED and I am going to connect it uh, a resistor here and the second leg of the resistor should be connected with the negative rail the black one this one okay so you can see this one is the negative rail on which the black wire of the battery is connected and now we would require uh, this jumping wire we say this as jumper wire we are going to connect one end of the jumper jumper wire with the positive rail and the second one with right in front of this pin of the push button and if we can press the push button the LED turns on so similarly you can connect uh, multiple number of uh, push buttons and LEDs so let's connect two more so this is a push button I am connecting it here very similarly we have connected the first one very carefully insert these pins the main thing is that if you have learned uh, how to connect one push button with one LED and how to turn it on then you can connect any number of uh, push button with any number of LEDs so this is the second one I have connected this push button on the breadboard just like I have connected the first one and very similarly I am going to connect the bigger leg of the LED right in front of this pin so the right in front of this pin and this is the smaller leg of the LED I will connect a resistor here and I will connect it with the negative rail of the DC battery so this is a resistor I am connecting it right in front of the lower leg and with the negative rail so you can observe it lower leg of the LED and negative rail this is negative rail negative rail means where we have connected the black uh, wire of the DC battery and now I am going to connect the third one the third push button and very similarly I am going to connect LED and resistor so bigger leg of the LED will be connected in front of these holes here and uh, right in front of this pin and similarly I'm going to connect smaller leg of the LED with the negative rail we would require two more wires and we will connect these two wires with the positive rail here and the second terminal of the jumper wire will be connected right and if you connect it directly with the LED it will turn on here there will be no use of push button then so you have to connect it with the right pin right in front of the push button pin similarly we are going to connect another jumper wire with this pin of the push button okay and now if we press these push buttons then all of these uh, LEDs will be turned on separately so this is red yellow and green so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you